hopefully you guys can hear us. I'm going to cut away again for a second, excuse me. I need to play with the settings because I'm not getting a feed from the camera. Let's see from Mars. Let's turn it just a smidge more. Hey, carajo. Pardon me, gentlemen and ladies, anybody who's watching. I am just trying to get a little adjusted here so that I'm in frame. And uh, let's see what we get here. Yeah, the chroma key is not working. Let's just leave that alone. Let's see. <laughs> not too good. Toy camera, no. All right, let's get back to this. And awesome. Seems to have been adjusted even better now. So we're going to go. Yep. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. This test is testing and testing we are. We're showing our Union Pride TWU Local 100 with our hat. And we got a headset on so we don't get any background noise. And uh, hopefully this is giving us some Project Cars at Brands Hatch. Yeah, that's close enough. I don't need to change that. So let's get it on. All right. Okay, hopefully you guys can see us now. We're going to hit that. Go in here. I believe we have our nice little Clio all packed up there. Yes. The Logitech Clio is already there. Let's just do a nice photo here. Why not? Later we can put that in as our thumbnail. So let's get it on. Today we're uh, happy to announce we got our Rickmo Tech adapter so that we can use the G. Hello, Kian Ortiz. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for watching. Today we're using the Rikmo Tech adapter so that we can use our G27 pedals because the pedals that come with the Thrustmaster T300 RS aren't so hot. I'm not thrilled with them. They're, the brake has too much give and I wind up locking the pedals. Going to take a couple of laps around brands hatch the indie circuit maybe we'll boost it up to five laps and uh, 19 opponents sounds good all identical uh, maybe we can change the weather I think we're gonna go with uh, all all dry for now because uh, oh, you silly bastard pardon my French um, <laughs> yes this is PS4 we're using the Thrustmaster T300 RS with a set of Logitech G27 pedals, courtesy of Rickmotech, because I purchased a Rickmotech adapter to let me use my old Logitech G27 pedals, which are so much nicer than the two-pedal system that comes with the T300. So thanks for asking, and now we're going to jump in the race. Hopefully we don't make too big a fool of ourselves. Uh, this isn't my first race with the... Uh, Logitech pedals attached. Uh, highly recommend it if you have a pair of uh, G25 or G27 Logitech pedals laying around. 20 bucks. Thank you so much for the kind words, Keon, and thanks for watching. Uh, 
Hopefully you learn something. Hopefully I learn something. Uh, I've already done a race or two with these pedals. And unless I really stand on the brake, it does not lock up the brakes. So here we go. We're about to hit it. Uh, yeah. Uh, if I could just remember how to change the view, that would be so nice. But I guess we're stuck in this view. And yes, I'm going to leave the, uh, the drive line on because I'm still not exactly uh, Mario Andretti. Hopefully you can still hear my voice. Oh, pay attention. Stop looking at what's written on the screen, dummy. Uh, I tried this with uh, Drive Club a bit earlier and also with Assetto Corsa and uh, certainly makes a difference. Yes, I just locked up the brakes right there. But I did so because I came in way too hot, not because I screwed up. Get about halfway down the pedal before you uh, really need to stand on it to get it to lock up. And just throttling, yeah, just feathering the throttle and using about half a brake, and we got it. Uh, Lovely driving, great first lap. We're in if control, you're driving with a, a DS4, you know, DualShock 4, uh, people tell me that right now Micro Center has the Thrustmaster T150, which does have uh, force feedback. I uh, am told that it's on sale right now for $130, which is a pretty good price. I briefly had the T80. But the lack of force feedback was, oh my, get off the grass, dummy. The lack of force feedback was simply not uh, not good after coming from having a, oh boy, don't lose control, dummy. Uh, after coming from the Fanatics, ooh, 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 ooh. after the, coming from the Fanatics 911, with force feedback, the 911 Carrera, which unfortunately doesn't work so well with this uh, PlayStation 4. Having no force feedback was not cool. So I sold off the T80, essentially for what I paid for it. Oh boy, that's almost beefing it. Uh, so... I, I recommend not getting the T80. I mean, yes, it's a a bit of a upgrade from using DualShock controllers, but the lack of force feedback really uh, cripples it. I don't know if you actually need the T300. The T150 is supposed to be very similar. Comes with the same crummy pedals, which I suspect Tech, you should, uh, great job. Focus on your lap time. No mistake. I suspect you would be better off uh, either getting Thrustmaster's uh, Pro pedals or doing what I did if you happen to have the uh, a set of Legitech pedals laying around. To be honest, I never really liked the uh, Fanatics pedals that I had. I did not have club sport pedals. So that was... Uh... Yes, this is a great, great game. Uh, unfortunately for us PlayStation folks, we actually have to buy it. But uh, the people on Xbox, right now until I think March 15th, you can get Project Cars for free on Xbox One. What lap are we on? Strong oh pace. boy. Great job. Oh, it was the last lap. Look at that. Oh, don't lose it now, dummy. So, uh... There... By the way, if you, you guys are on Facebook, there's quite a few PS4 racing sim uh, groups. And uh, there's a couple for Project Cars. I think there's a few for Assetto Corsa. Drive Club's really not a sim, but it's still a fun game. And if you don't have Drive Club, 
I recommend spending the $7.99, I think it is, that it is in the PlayStation Store. It's a fun little game. May not be a simulation like uh, Assetto Corsa and uh, Project Cars, but still a fun game. And at $7.99, it's like a no-brainer. That's Great like You've it. That was a cup of coffee and a Danish at finish. Starbucks or something. So, didn't do too bad. I mean, yeah, we have the uh, settings dialed down a bit. And uh, I have the force feedback actually dialed down a bit. I'm going to save that. Why not? All right, let's return to Race Central. Once again, TWU Local 100, giving our union a little shout out. That's what the hat is from. We had a rally not too long ago for union benefits. Woohoo, union power. Don't let anybody tell you that unions are bad. The only people who cry about unions are the bosses who want to make all the money on the backs of their workers. All right, maybe let's try the uh, little Ford Focus. We're going to stick to little rinky-dinky cars. Oh, wait, uh, the Mitsubishi Lancer is here somewhere. Mitsubishi Lancer, yeah, why not? We'll take that out for a little spin. I'm not going to do very many uh, games of this. Just uh, testing things out, also testing the camera. Uh, thinking about getting the PSVR, although I have seen some interesting little hacks to use a Google Cardboard. Uh, I try and avoid the glitches, but I, I also play Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, although I still prefer the Modern Combat re, uh, rebooted or remastered, whatever they called it. And it, um, uh, was well worth the 63 bucks that uh, Amazon charged for it. For 80, I wasn't really feeling it. For $63, wasn't a bad deal. But lately I've been like ho playing almost exclusively race games. Focus on the light. Go for a clean get away. Hopefully you can hear me pretty position. good. In my headset, green, I'm green, green. finding this really loud. Not as loud as the Mercedes SLS, which is deafening. Even when you're in the car, oh, I'm going to beef it. Uh, maybe not. You'd think that I play this track so much that I would not need to use this driveline, but honestly, I'm, I'm only in uh, back into racing games about a month. Oh, don't go into the grass. Uh, I previously on the PlayStation 3 used to play a lot of Gran Turismo. This car seems to have a wee bit more pick up and go. We're coming to you live from the wilds of Brooklyn, New York. And uh, in the Gravesend section. And not too far over from us, we have uh, one of those motorsports race rooms with uh, one of those super duper $20,000 race rig. Uh oh, I'm going to lose it. I'm landing. I'm standing on that brake. Okay, get off the dirt. So, that uh, race room, if you happen to be in Brooklyn, go check them out. I mean, that rig that they have is incredible. It's a little pricey, but uh, not bad at all. Oh, get off the dirt. It's a, Like I say, it's a little pricey. It's about 20 bucks for a half an hour. And honestly, I don't think it's a bad deal considering what those rigs cost them. Oh, whoa, 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 get off the sand trap. The bots can get you when you're in throwback. When you're on the throwback, go to the low. Oh, pay attention, stop reading about the glitch. <laughs> Thanks for the info, though, Keon. Maybe uh, later on I'll give it a shot with the robots. Don't want to. I definitely don't want to be messing with that online. Don't want to get banned. I've had this account for many years, and do not wish to get banned for using uh, naughtiness. Oh, and I beefed it hard. Tried to take that corner a little too 
hot. Thankfully, I had such a big lead. Yeah, that's... My split time for that one is not... Oh, I did it again! Although I think this is the last lap, so I think we're pretty good. Don't read while racing. <laughs> That's a great idea. Okay. Go to the roof of the barn and they can't get you. Okay. Yeah. Trying to read that while I was racing wasn't exactly the good idea. But thanks for the info, Keon. It's uh, very useful. Just for uh, even against the bots, just to do trick shots could be fun. All right, maybe now we'll do the uh, Ford Focus here. I'm not going to run this uh, stream for very long. After all, ooh, I'm probably not even, I probably didn't even turn monetization on right now. I'm such a naughty boy. So, pardon me a moment, I'll be turning on the monetization just so... I can pay for some of these toys. This wheel should really be about here. Right now, it seems it seems like I'm I'm uh, 11 feet tall, which is not uh, realistic. If I was really this tall, I'd probably be like close to seven foot. So let me jump in here and get it on. Okay, ba 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 bum. Pardon me for ignoring you folks, but uh, let's see. Mad Mohawk Gaming, here we go. Let's get in there. Live streaming. Have you live streamed, Keon? It's actually kind of fun. And uh, Project Cars Live. There we go. Project Cars Live. All right. Give me my control room, please. Let's see, da, 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 da. ingestion settings are no longer editable. No kidding. Okay, da, da. my stream is good. Uh, broadcast alert. All right, we have to turn the monetization on and I forgot where it is, which is never a good idea. I should really have uh, went around and did this before I turned the stream actually on. There we go, monetization. Huzzah! Save. And uh, we have Nightbot going, so hopefully Nightbot is uh, on the ball here. And uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. this content has never aired on the television before. And... Uh, Today is the recording date, even though we're not really recording, we're live streaming. And we'll make it all there and all. So, bum, 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 bum. no, this is not 360 degree video. We will add the required delay for the, for the uh, commercials to work properly. And hopefully we haven't knocked you guys out. All right, let's go jump into, oh no, not different track, dummy. Let's jump into Ford Focus. Oh, or, no, Ford Escort, excuse me. Maybe later we'll ch take this old beast out. I remember when uh, I was a kid watching these guys it blast around in those. Formula, 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 Ford Mustang, Ford Mustang Boss, Ford Focus. Ford Falcon, Ford Escort. Eh, let's take the the Falcon, uh, not the Falcon, the Focus out. <laughs> yeah, I'm rambling on like a lunatic, ain't I? So, like I said, we got Nightbot running. We're just blasting around, enjoying the Rick Motec adapter that's letting us use our old pedals from the Logitech G25, G27, best 20 bucks that I spent. Uh, we recently built a pedal deck. Enjoy. Thanks for watching, bro. See you later, Keon, and thanks for the information, and thanks for viewing us. Uh, as I was saying, we built a pedal deck. 
We actually use okay, a, time to focus on those lights. a twenty dollar key table and defend that pole position. To I forgot again to lower the volume on my headset. Uh, we use a tea table, a twenty dollar tea table to mount our to mount our wheel on, which is the Thrustmaster T three hundred RS. And uh, like I said, twenty dollar tea table from the local dollar store. Or uh, people also call them snack tables or TV tables. So that if you've never heard a t of a tea table, you know what I'm talking about. Hopefully you've heard of one of the others. So it's a $20 tea table for the uh, wheel mount. And uh, I have two old stair treads that a neighbor was tossing in the garbage. And ooh, 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 we went sideways there. That was unpleasant. And now we're off into the sand trap like we're playing golf. Uh, so he was throwing away a couple of old stair treads from a project he did. And I grabbed them, glued them together, Good put job. some uh, to additional keep it on wood the island and, keep pushing. and uh, drilled some holes, covered it with some gray felt. And that's our pedal deck. And that being on across the bottom legs of the uh, tea table helps keep the tea table on the ground. We don't lift it up off the ground courtesy of hairy turns anymore. And having the pedals bolted to the, to that wooden deck has the benefit of not having to chase the pedals around anymore. Used to be terrible in Gran Turismo to chase the pedals around. So we're just taking this Ford Focus around in Brands Hatch. Yes, we have the drive line on. Uh, before the next race, I'll turn it off and lower my headset volume because the headset, uh, some of these cars are super loud. At least in my headset, they are. Hopefully they're not blowing your eardrums out on the live stream. And if they are, I apologize. And if they are, also please let me know in the comments. Because the comments are on the yeah, right the here, I can actually see them. Still chasing, so protect yeah. That gap. Oh yeah, seven seconds behind me. Even if I beef it hard, I think I think the uh, won't catch me. Uh, especially we're in the third lap. Uh, Project cars is what we're driving right now. And we get a little sideways there. Project Cars is uh, what we're driving, and uh, I highly suggest investing a dollar ninety-nine in the Crew Chief app. Although I'm not using it currently because I don't have my you won it by a mile. I don't driving. have my uh, amplifier set up. I have a. Uh, wish I could see what the hell this says. Okay, that seems like I lowered the volume a bit. Thank you for your patience. Uh, as I said, lowering the volume a bit on the headset so I don't go deaf. The Crew Chief app for Android works great with this game. It's fantastic. Uh, I think now that we have this pedal set, we can boost the... Uh, AI opponents, we're not racing anybody, so if we bang into people, don't don't be upset. We're just racing AI right now, and we have them set pretty low because when I was using the original T300 RS pedals, I would lock the brakes constantly and go off into the wilderness. All right, let's switch cars, put the Escort on. Anyway, so I did say I was going to do something and I can't remember what it was. I know adjusting the sound level in my headset was one of them. Hopefully that tap on the headset didn't blow your eardrums out or your speakers. Uh, hopefully everything is copacetic. Oh, that was it. I wanted to raise the... We have them pretty 
far down here. So let's bring it up to about 35 and see if we get slaughtered or not. And let's maybe messy, mess around with this. Make random. And we'll make this one. Come on, random. Random, 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 random. So the beginning of the race will be clear. The second and third quarter of the race will be random. And the last quarter of the race will be just overcast. We have the weather progression at 20 times normal speed to make sure that we get through the weather progressions. I don't know if we need it that high. It may cycle through several times, which would be bad. Actually, let's see if we can bring that down to five. Let's bring it down to five times just so we don't get all the seasons in like the first 34 seconds. Okay. So we raised up the the AI's uh, intelligence, and we're going to give it a go in the Ford Focus RS. This is an old Ford, Fo not Ford Focus, excuse me, Ford Escort RS 1600. My bad. And again, let's give a shout out to TWU Local 100, my union. Go union. And let's get it on. Hopefully we don't make a complete fool of ourselves against the more intelligent bots. I'm sure I won't be winning by 10 seconds in this race. Because, as I say, I'm only back to sim racing about a month. Because my uh, Fanatics wheel would not work. It wouldn't work properly. I finally did an update to the Fanatics wheel. And it sort of worked after that, but it still would be really giving issues away. with this. Oh, that was it. I wanted to turn the green. drive line off. That was what I forgot to do. Alrighty. Oh, well. There's always next race. Although I think after this race, I'm going to call it a day for now. And uh, thank you for watching. Oh, Beefarino, don't do it. Yeah. I wish I could see my mirror. Oh, it's on the left side in this car because we're driving an English version of this car. Oh, 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 oh. So I don't really know. Oh, they're right on me. I mean, I have a pretty good lead on them. But they're still uh, not far off. There's no 10 second lead here. If I beef it, I'm getting overtaken. Oh, and I'm trying not to beef it right there. And oh boy, we got some major beef going here. Let's just get out of the way. We are not winning this race. Oh, sorry, buddy. Thankfully, you're just an AI and not a real driver. Because otherwise, I'd be hearing screaming in my headset right now, I'm sure. All right. Well, at least we're... We caught a few, we caught a few, oh boy, we just lost 18th place. Oh my lord, I'm beefing it hard. Trying to catch up those, uh, those positions, I'm beefing it hard. I'm pushing way too hard, and I'm jamming on that brake like crazy, and look at me, this is going to be a really bad showing in this RS. I, I'm loath to to restart the race. Don't want to look like a uh, a fool, but that's what I am right now. I really screwed this race up bad. What in the world? Why am I getting this? Okay, I'm gonna just kill this race because I'm just like completely useless with this car. Ah, the O button is the one I'm looking for. Okay, thank you. At least I got that straightened out. All right, let's end this race. Let's exit. Let's take one of the little faster cars out for a spin. Remember, Union first. Project Cars, if you have an Xbox One. It's currently free until March 15th in the Xbox uh, online digital store, whatever it's called. This is on the PlayStation 4 right now. 
We're using the blah ba dee ba doo. We're using the Thrustmaster T three hundred RS, and we got the Rick Motec. Oh yeah, let's take the Caterham out for a blast. We've got the Rick Motec adapter that lets us replace the Rinky Dinky Thrustmaster pedals that came with it. It, came, it comes with the same pedals as the T eighty. It's only two pedals, no clutch, and the uh, brake pedal really doesn't have any doesn't have a lot of resistance. With the uh, Logitech G25 or G27 pedals that we're using now, courtesy of Rickmatech's adapter, we're not locking the brakes as much as we normally would. Usually now we're just locking them up when we panic. So we're going to do this one last race. Hopefully we don't spread too much beef on the sandwich, making to ourselves look too bad. Ah. Oh. I really need to get a chair in here for this. Huh. Unfortunately, you can't see my artwork back there. Is a nice Kachina doll painting right above that brass bar. I'm currently just sitting on my bed. That's why I'm so high. This wheel should be like right here. Oh, here goes nothing. Yes, I'm starting the pole position. This is a fun little car. Reminds me of the MG Midget. Hopefully, okay. Wow, this car has no feedback, it seems like. Oh, we are spinning it. Oh, Christ on a cracker. Pardon my French, but somebody just slammed me when I jammed on the brake. Oh, boy. Let's feather this gas a little bit so we don't go completely off into the woods here. Oh, don't jam on them. Oh, we're going sideways. Oh yeah, we're gonna quit while we're ahead and go off into the woods here and have a snack. <laughs> Before we make a complete fool of ourselves, I'm gonna just end this here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Have a great night. Bye for now from the Mad Mohawk. Onagi Wahi, and don't forget, TWU Local 100, that's where the hat's from. Proud Union Man, and Proud Mohawk Indian. Have a great day. And now the end of the broadcast has become.